सो नमस्ते एंड अ वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू एवरीबडी वेलकम टू द हाई लेवल इवेंट लॉन्च फॉर द ग्रीन क्रेडिट इनिशिएटिव व्हिच इज़ को होस्टेड बाय इंडिया एंड द यूनाइटेड अरब एमिरेट्स इट्स आर ऑनर एंड प्रिवलेज दैट वी आर जॉइन टुडे बाय द ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया श्री नरेंद्र मोदी एंड हिज एक्सलेंसी and his excellency ulf pistor shon prime minister of sweden <laughs> excellencies dignitaries ladies and gentlemen the green credit initiative is framed to encourage and incentivize the proactive efforts of organizations corporate entities and individuals dedicated to plantation activities in promoting sustainable practices on a global scale this initiative involves recognizing voluntary efforts towards greening this planet in the form of green credits this concept can be adopted by all countries and further developed according to their requirements the video being played right now will serve to provide the context and information about this initiative Your Highness, Excellencies, special event में आप सबका हार्दिक स्वागत है मेरी आपसे रिक्वेस्ट है कि आप लोग बैठे तो अच्छा रहेगा पीछे लोग जो हैं उनको आपकी सेल्फी बाद में हो जाएगी <laughs> मेरे ब्रदर और यू के राष्ट्रपति इज हाइनेस शेख मोहम्मद बिन जायद के समर्थन के लिए मैं आभार व्यक्त करता हूं इतनी व्यस्तता के बीच भी उनका यहां आना हमारे साथ कुछ पल बिताना और उनका समर्थन मिलना ये अपने आप में बहुत बड़ी बात है यूए के साथ इस इवेंट को कोहस करते हुए मुझे बहुत खुशी हो रही है मैं स्वीडन के प्रधानमंत्री उल्फ कृष्ण शोन का इस इनिशिएटिव से जुड़ने के लिए भी आभार व्यक्त करता हूं फ्रेंड्स मैंने हमेशा महसूस किया है कि कार्बन क्रेडिट का दायरा बहुत ही सीमित है और ये फिलोसफी एक प्रकार से कॉमर्शियल एलिमेंट से प्रभावित है मैंने कार्बन क्रेडिट की व्यवस्था में एक सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी का जो भाव होना चाहिए उसका बहुत अभाव देखा है हमें होलिस्टिक तरीके से नई फिलोसफी पर बल देना होगा और यही ग्रीन क्रेडिट का आधार है मानव जीवन में आम तौर पर तीन प्रकार के चीजों का हम अनुभव करते हैं हमारे स्वाभाविक जीवन में भी जो लोगों को हम देखते हैं तो तीन चीजें हमारे नेचर सामने आती हैं एक प्रकृति 
एंड द टेंडेंसी दूसरी विकृति और तीसरी संस्कृति एक प्रकृति है एक नेचुरल टेंडेंसी है जो कहती है कि मैं पर्यावरण का नुकसान नहीं करूंगा ये उसकी टेंडेंसी है एक विकृति है एक डिस्ट्रक्टिव माइंडसेट है जिसकी ये सोच होती है कि दुनिया का कुछ भी हो जाए भावी पीढ़ी का कुछ भी हो जाए कितना ही नुकसान हो जाए मेरा फायदा हो यानी एक विकृत मानसिकता है और एक संस्कृति है एक कल्चर है संस्कार है जो पर्यावरण की समृद्धि में अपनी समृद्धि देखता है उसको लगता है कि मैं पृथ्वी का भला करूंगा तो मेरा भी भला होगा हम विकृति को त्याग कर पर्यावरण की समृद्धि में अपनी समृद्धि की संस्कृति विकसित करेंगे तभी प्रकृति यानी पर्यावरण की रक्षा हो पाएगी जिस तरह हम अपने जीवन में हेल्थ के कार्ड को अहमियत देते हैं कि भाई आपका हेल्थ कार्ड क्या है आपका हेल्थ रिपोर्ट क्या है रेगुलर उसको हम देखते हैं हम कॉन्शियस है ये कोशिश करते हैं कि उसमें पॉजिटिव पॉइंट जुड़े हैं वैसे ही हम पर्यावरण के संदर्भ में भी सोचना शुरू करना चाहिए हमें देखना होगा कि क्या करने से पृथ्वी की हेल्थ कार्ड में पॉजिटिव पॉइंट जुड़े और यही मेरे हिसाब से ग्रीन क्रेडिट है और वही मेरी ग्रीन क्रेडिट की अवधारणा है हमें नीतियों में निर्णयों में यह सोचना होगा कि उससे पृथ्वी के हेल्थ कार्ड में ग्रीन क्रेडिट कैसे जुड़ेगा जैसे एक उदाहरण मैं देता हूं डिग्रेडेड वेस्टलैंड का है अगर हम ग्रीन क्रेडिट के कंसेप्ट से चलेंगे तो पहले डीग्रेडेड वेस्टलैंड के इन्वेंटरी बनाई जाएगी फिर उस भूमि का उपयोग कोई भी व्यक्ति या संस्था वॉलेंटरी प्लांटेशन के लिए करेगी और फिर इस पॉजिटिव एक्शन के लिए उस व्यक्ति या संस्था को ग्रीन क्रेडिट दिए जाएंगे ये ग्रीन क्रेडिट फ्यूचर एक्सपेंशन में मददगार होंगे और ये ट्रेडेबल भी हो सकते हैं ग्रीन क्रेडिट की पूरी प्रक्रिया डिजिटल होगी चाहे वह रजिस्ट्रेशन हो प्लांटेशन हो वेरिफिकेशन हो या फिर ग्रीन क्रेडिट जारी करने की बात हो और ये तो सिर्फ मैंने एक छोटा सा उदाहरण आपको दिया है हमें मिलकर ऐसे अनंत आइडियाज पर काम करना होगा इसलिए ही आज हम एक ग्लोबल प्लेटफॉर्म भी लॉन्च कर रहे हैं ये पोर्टल प्लांटेशन और पर्यावरण संरक्षण से संबंधित आइडियाज एक्सपीरियंसिस एंड इनोवेशन को एक जगह पर कलेक्ट करेगा और ये नॉलेज ये रिपोजिटरी वैश्विक लेवल पर पॉलिसीज प्रैक्टिसेस और ग्रीन क्रेडिट्स की ग्लोबल डिमांड को शेप करने में मदद देगी फ्रेंड्स हमारे यहां कहा जाता है कि प्रकृति रक्षति रक्षिता अर्थात प्रकृति उसकी रक्षा करती है जो प्रकृति की रक्षा करता है इस मंच से मैं आह्वान करता हूं कि इस इनिशिएटिव से जुड़े साथ मिलकर इस धरती के लिए अपनी भावी पीढ़ियों के लिए एक ग्रीनर क्लीनर 
और बेटर फ्यूचर का निर्माण करें मैं मोजाम्बिक के राष्ट्रपति का आभार व्यक्त करता हूं कि वह समय निकालकर हमारे बीच आए हैं और हमारे साथ जुड़े हैं एक बार फिर आज इस फॉरम में जुड़ने के लिए आप सभी का मैं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद करता हूं Thank you honorable prime minister ji for your inspiring and very motivating works we resolve to work hard to take your initiative ahead in the coming days i take this opportunity also to welcome the president of mozambique his excellency mr philip nayusi i now invite his excellency ulf christiansen prime minister of sweden to deliver his remarks Thank you so much excellencies ladies and gentlemen distinguished colleagues uh, we would like to thank our hosts and dear colleagues of India for this invitation to this event on enhancing climate action indeed there are a large number of organizations corporate entities and individuals who want to contribute to securing our future environment in light of both the urgency and the opportunities of climate transition in our societies we see the green credit initiative as a promising additional tool to enhance climate action the green credit initiative could lower the thresholds and show how both companies authorities and people can take concrete action through the swedish initiative the climate leap we know that supporting action really can make a big difference since 2015 this climate leap we have financed over 5000 collected actions for climate mitigation together these actions have reduced the climate emissions with 3.3 million tons per year the cost is less than 35 us dollars per ton the largest reduction in emissions as a result of the climate leap are expected within transportation waste management and biogas production similar to the focus areas of the green credit initiative so we welcome this dialogue by india to promote global partnerships cooperation and engagement through exchange of knowledge experiences and best practice we already share experiences of fruitful collaboration through lead it and we are looking forward to enhancing climate action together with others who also realize both urgency and possibility we look forward to take more climate action together thank you so much thank you excellency for your incisive and very encouraging words i now invite his excellency Mr. Philip Nyusi to deliver his remarks. Thank you, sorry, my dear friend and brother Moody. You know, I'm from Gujarat. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Mr. Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of India? Excellency heads of state and government ladies and gentlemen i will thank both president sheikh nayan and the prime minister bor modi for inviting mozambique to this higher level event on the green credit initiative mozambique is very committed to protest forest ecosystem because of the benefits of to human kind 
In the Mozambique forest, ecosystems play a critical role for the life of our people because many of our people live in rural areas and depend on forest natural resources. Your Green Credit Initiative is aligned with Mozambique Initiative of Sustainable Management of the Miombo Forest. The Miombo Forest Initiative was formally endorsed by the Maputo Declaration last year, together signed by 11 countries in Celic region, namely Mozambique, Angola, Botswana, DRC, Congo, Malawi, Namibia, South Africa, Tanzania, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Uh, the Miombo is the largest tropical forest ecosystem, and it is home of more than 300 million population. We are here to support this Green Credit Initiative and also to ask you to accept Mozambique Initiative on the Miombo Forest as part of this large initiative by India and the United Arab Emirates. In partnership with the International Conservation Foundation, the ICCF, Mozambique will host on an international conference on the Miombo Forest next year in April in Washington, D.C. to mobilize funding and international collaboration. I would like to invite Prime Minister Modi, President Nayan, and all dignitaries to join us in that conference. I would like also to ask that Miombo Forest Initiative be included on the Global Green Credit web platform that is going to be launched here in this forum. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your very insightful comments. I now invite His Excellency Charles Michel, President of the European Council, to deliver his remarks. My dear Prime Minister Modi, Dear President, Prime Minister, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it's a great pleasure, it's an honor to be today with you, and I would like to commend, dear Prime Minister Modi, your personal role in chairing the G20. The G20 is an important multilateral body. We were together in your beautiful country a few months ago, and we have seen how, with your leadership, it is possible to make progress in the right direction. You know that the European Union made a very important choice about four years ago when we decided to make Europe the first neutral continent by 2050. This is a very ambitious goal, but we made this decision because we are absolutely convinced that it is our responsibility to prepare the future, it's our responsibility to address climate change, it's our responsibility to mobilize all our efforts to make sure that we will protect the humanity. And on that point, I know that you are all of us exactly on the same page. That's why it's good to join you today to discuss this important topic of green credits, because strong climate action requires strong climate financing. And this financing will not come from one source alone. We must find new and innovative ways to mobilize more financing and to find more sources of income. And that's why I want to be very clear, we welcome these innovative initiatives of our partners, because green credits are a great idea to incentivize environmental efforts. But in our opinion, we should also keep three key principles in mind to ensure they have a positive impact on climate action. The first one is the system should be robust with a high degree of integrity and transparency. Second, green credits must lead to emission reduction. And third, they cannot be cheap offset schemes that hurt the environment in the long run. And you can count on the EU to support developing countries working to decarbonize their societies. We want to be a reliable and credible global partner. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to add that the European Union is fulfilling its commitment regarding the 100 billion euros needed for the developed countries. This is a promise we made many years ago, and we are fulfilling on the EU side this very important promise. Second point, 
lost and damaged. You remember that the EU was one of the first uh, countries supporting this idea when it was put on the table. And third point, I would like to use this opportunity because I'm absolutely convinced that we have a problem, ladies and gentlemen, with the Bretton Woods institutions, World Bank and IMF, because those institutions are not prepared for the new world, for the new challenges we face, and that's why the EU is committed to working with all of you to reform those institutions. And I see two important challenges. The first one is to make sure that those institutions have the financial means they need to help and to support the developing countries, so that developing countries do not have the responsibility to choose being fighting poverty on the one hand and going green on the other hand. Point one, it should be a priority for all of us. For instance, you know that uh, in comparison with 70 years ago, the World Bank is seven times less capitalized. It is showing something about what we need to do in the future. And finally, those institutions should be much more inclusive. They do not reflect the reality of the world we live in. Again, we can count on the EU. We believe in the multilateral approach because this is the European DNA. We believe in working together to address common challenges in a respectful way. Thank you, Prime Minister Modi, for bringing us together today. You can count on the European Union. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you, Excellency, for ver your very enthusiastic support and your decisive remarks. A web platform has also been created to promote global partnerships, cooperation and engagement through the exchange of knowledge, experiences and best practices in policy, planning and implementation of environment positive actions through programs and mechanisms like green credits. This web platform will serve as a repository of policies and best practices that incentivize environmentally friendly actions and that will catalyze the exchange of knowledge and experiences related to policies, programs and practices that promote afforestation activities. I would now, now like to request the Honorable Prime Minister of India to launch the web portal. Thank you all the esteemed dignitaries and excellencies for your participation in launching the, the portal. Uh, Honorable Prime Minister, Your Highness, Your Excellencies, thank you very much for gracing this occasion. We now conclude this event. Thank you so much.